Hello and welcome back another day another little topical journey and this time looking at maxima minima kind of questions revolving around AM GM so this definition might not work at the beginning uh, so we are looking at these kind of questions maybe where a sum is given to me for let's say two or three terms and my question is what would be the maximum value of the product of these terms or most simply a plus b plus c is equal to 12 what is the maximum value of a into b into c going to be so we have already looked at maximum minima with graphs and functions for quadratic equations etc so we know what we mean we want to go to the highest uh, possible point or lowest possible point so that is the essential game but the concept that we will be using is uh, revolves around arithmetic mean am and gm and a very simple idea that for any set of terms the arithmetic mean of terms will be greater than equal to the uh, geometric mean of the terms okay very quickly if i give you two terms a and b what is the arithmetic mean a plus b by 2 what do i mean by the geometric mean a into b and a square root if I throw in three terms a, b, c, what would be my arithmetic mean a plus b plus c by 3? If I throw in three terms here, I would have to put a cube root here. So, uh, of course, we will work on arithmetic progression separately and a little bit of geometric mean or geometric progressions as well. But for our current purposes, that is all we need to know. That is, there are three terms, we are thinking of a cube root. If there was a fourth term, I would be thinking of a fourth root. If there was a fourth term, I will be adding a four here. Right? So, uh, we haven't started solving the problem yet. Uh, one, we are looking at uh, the maximum value and minimum value of expressions like these and especially based around conditions so that a sum's value is given and the product's maximum is asked. Or later, as we'll see, the product's value will be given and the sum's minimum will be asked. Right? So that game and all based around this single idea that for any set of terms their arithmetic mean will be greater than equal to the geometric mean and we also looked at what we mean by arithmetic mean and what we mean by geometric mean or at least as much required to deal with our problems. So capture the idea in your note bank AM is greater than equal to GM go for the arithmetic mean of these three terms so how will you find it you will say a plus b plus c divided by 3 but luckily i already have a plus b plus c's value okay greater than equal to cube root of a into b into c this is the arithmetic mean and this is the geometric mean so i have this equation here Instead of the a plus b plus c, the value is given to me. So, I can just put about 12 here and divide it by 3. That is greater than or equal to cube root of a into b into c. This will give you a 4 and remove the cube root. That means uh, cube both the sides of the story. And what you will get is a 64 greater than or equal to a into b into c. So I get this equation and now interpret this story, the product of A into B into C, A into B into C is less than equal to 64. So maximum it can go up to 64 or it will be less than that, right? So if I want to find out the maximum value of A, B and C, from here I can say the maximum value is going to be 64. This is just the... Uh, the essence of the game, I will add the conditions and how to play with various scenarios as such. But notice that the, the rule that I have, AM is greater than GM, greater than or equal to GM. The AM part of the story was given to me. Even the GM part, part of the story was given to me because I need a cube root. But I have the product already. So any such story uh, from this direction or from this direction is very, very suitable for this particular approach. A very important point to remember is that this uh, this game only works in the with the assumption that a comma b comma c or whatever numbers we are dealing with are positive. So use this game only when the numbers are positive. And I'm not even going into the theory of why am is greater than or equal to gm. A very simple Google search will reveal the answer to you, and I'll cover it in a separate uh, uh, non 
important video as such because the right now we want to master this particular game and understand that okay the moment i look at an inequality like this a into b into c has to be less than can be equal to but has to be less than equal to 64 that means the maximum value possible is 64 as i am assuming that before coming here you have spent enough time with algebra anyway so you are quite comfortable with maxima minima and you are not getting uh, distracted with the ideas of differentiation etc that oh the moment i look at maxima minima i am thinking of differentiation no use this idea and your task will be done very quickly right so we are going for a very practical uh, just solve the problem approach i have a one simple rule playing over and over again arithmetic greater than equal to gm I'm sure for arithmetic mean and geometric mean, I can uh, uh, explore the topic further and in great detail. And I can start thinking that do I know this topic well or, or not? But it's very simple. We looked at what we mean by arithmetic mean, what we mean by geometric mean. If I give you six terms, A, B, C, D, E, F, what is the geometric mean? A dot B dot C dot D dot E dot, the dot implies a product and a sixth root of this expression. What is the arithmetic mean? Add them up and divide them by 6 that is the number of terms so for our purposes that's all we need to know and now i want to apply this story here but this time it may appear on the surface that okay my product is different i have a a plus 1 and a uh, and a b plus 2 into a c so the story looks slightly different but let me but take one step and your life will become very very easy start with this part of the story one term, two term, three term. There are three terms in the story. So I'm thinking of the geometric mean. There will be a cube root and a cube root of a plus 1 into b plus 2 into c. Why am I starting with this part of the story? Because this is what I have to figure out. So I must maintain this story because on the other side and then I can play around, right? So and I know this is less than or equal to and I'm, if I'm using these terms, that means on the arithmetic side also, I will have to use those terms, not a simple a plus b plus c, right? That means, what are the terms? The terms are a plus 1 plus b plus 2 plus c. One term, two term, three term, this should be divided by 3. Okay, this looks complicated, a plus 1 plus b plus 2 plus c, but a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c I already have. So, I have a 12, beyond the 12, I have a 1 and a 2. So I'm getting 3 extra in the story. So instead of this, I can write 15 by 3, right? Slow down. A plus B plus C, I already knew. And there were a couple of extra terms there. I just added them up all together. And now the next step is going to be very easy. This is 5. I will remove the cube root from uh, or cube both the sides. And I will get 125 is greater than or equal to carry the story. A plus 1 into B plus 2 into C, right? So I got the answer. I wanted a plus 1 into b plus 2 into c maximum value and in this expression once again overall focus on the idea the product is less than equal to 125. That means what is the top limit for the product? The, the top limit is 125. And the th thing to be observed is that okay I am just manipulating the game. I have a fundamental game. The story changed slightly. So I stick to the story, let me see what happens on the other side and while doing so maybe only you will realize that okay, I have this part of the story and I just have to add them together. Plus now you are learning to play anyway, that's the whole purpose of like uh, extra training right, that you get to see all possible angles anyway. So we want to continue with this story. Right, so keep your main idea in front of you, AM is greater than or equal to GM. So this is a very good journey with, okay, I have one idea, how am I applying it in different looking situations over and over again. So I want the value of A into B into C, but in this story I have a A plus 2B plus 3C. Okay, so let me start with this. The terms are A plus 2B plus 3C. The arithmetic mean would be sum divided by 3, greater than or equal to. I'm just trying it out, let's see what happens, right? Like I'm at least pretending that approach. Three terms, so cube root of the same terms, I should, uh, my LHS and RHS, the AM and GM should be of the same set of numbers. So if I am starting with this story, the same term should be on the other side. So A, the other term is 2B. So A into 2B 
into 3c. And now you see that you're almost done with the problem. Why? Because you know this is equal to 9. So 9 by 3, which is equal to 3, is greater than equal to, that means this expression is 3, is greater than equal to cube root of 2 into 3 will become a 6, right? So 6 into a dot b dot c. Okay? Continue with the story. Cube both the sides. So you will get a 27 greater than equal to 6 dot a into b into c. Move the 6 on the other side, 27 by 6. So once again, I have the story that I wanted. So compare it to the previous example we did. In that story, there were some changes here and this was standard like because we started with a one standard example. So we want to compare everything to that. Now in this story, here the sum has, uh, the sum is looking different and because of that the product will also change but it is very convenient because there is just an extra product that I can always adjust later. I will get the term that I needed, right? So central idea is AM greater than GM and the secondary idea is just how to manipulate equations.